Hi friends, welcome to Aisha DIY. This is the final part of the baby hat. Um, so I did uh, 13 rounds and this is the 14th round. And I joined the 13 round by slip stitch and I have here two chains. So this is what we have right now. And then this 14th round, we are going to do half a round with half double crochets and then stop exactly at the half point. So how we determine the half point, you just keep it like this. So you are starting from here all the way here. Um, we have to stop. So we'll do half double crochets and stop at half of the thing. So um, we'll see how we can do that. Okay, I'll meet you back then. Hi, welcome to Aisha DIY. This is the final part of this um, baby's turban. So, um, I have finished 13 rounds. This is the 14th round. This is the start of the 14th round. I have uh, done a slip stitch to close the 13th round and then I have I made two chains. So, here I am. So, I'm just going to um, form, find the center of this hat by just keeping it like this almost here. So I'm going to just do, uh, continue doing half double crochets in each stitch until I come to the center of this uh, uh, hat. Um, so I'll meet you then. So we, I am at half of this, um, this hat. So now I'm going to just uh, figure out, see this round circles we did, the place where the round ends, almost here. So, I'm just going to figure out this part right here. Probably here is a good place. So, the corresponding stitch, you can just eyeball it. And uh, you can say this is the area. Okay. And then you have to um, put your hook in here. And then grab the yarn. get the yarn out um, you have two loops on your hook okay and then you're just gonna uh, yarn over and pull through the two this is a velvet yarn so it's it's just a little bit flimsy but if you do it in the regular yarn, so basically you did a half uh, means single crochet here, and then all you need to do is continue doing half double crochet in the next stitch, right? Next, and um, don't forget that we are doing half double crochet only in the back stitch, uh, uh, back side of the chain and not in the front so we will continue doing our half double crochet until we come to the end then i'll meet you guys back then so i have finished this round 14 and then i took my hook off um, and then fastened it just by pulling out the thread then i'm just going to use my yarn needle and then um, weave this thing um, through a couple of stitches here so because it's velvet don't try too hard to actually uh, pull it off as it might um, actually untangle everything so if you can see some gap i would suggest you go over there and then kind of uh, weave this uh, yarn through but don't pull it off tightly as you might disturb the yarn it's way too soft and that's what we want for the babies um, also and at the same time it's flimsy to handle it might break um, so 
don't put pressure at all that's why I took a long tail and I'm just weaving in the tail a couple of times and in my experience I have did um, a couple of scrunchies with this velvet yarn so if you leave the tail just like that like just you weave in and leave it it, it has a tendency to come off so my suggestion is take it a little bit longer over here and then if you can see you just pull it off a little bit and then I would like to put a knot right here uh, yeah over here we need a little bit of uh, tail so if you can take your hook and bring this underneath the back side and then make it just a loop a small loop and not with one of the thread so you just knot it around like this yeah like this and now you can snip this off that is done we still have one more thread to loop in so this point we can decide if this is the good side uh, or this I think this is the good side so that's good so we can fasten this tail the one that we started with all you need to do is thread your needle and go through a couple of stitches um, so because it's circular you can go in circles and then I don't uh, worry about this that much um, because anyways it will hide on pretty well um, so you can just go back and forth and then snip it off That's enough. Never pull it hard. So that's good. So this is the front part, and we have our uh, cinch right here. I didn't tighten it very much um, because I want to attach a bow to this so that it looks nice here and then to make a bow all we need to do is take some yarn do a magic circle and chain about 25 to 30 whichever size you want the bow to be the length of the bow will be the size so one two three four five Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, and twenty-five. So this is the round of the bow. That's so big. Mm. 
yeah no if you're gonna just put it like this then that should be a good size or a couple more 27 28 okay so and then I'm just gonna insert my hook in the first chain and then do a slip stitch or okay this is the tail so now I'm just gonna do half double crochet around um, so yarn over first we will do two chains and then half double crochet in the next chain so in all the chains we will do one half double crochet in each chain space and then we will do rows like that excuse me so with a velvet yarn it's a little bit slippery and very very um, um, slippery and very very delicate the yarn is so we need to respect that and the yarn is um, really really um, has a tendency to knot a lot so you need to be careful with the yarn um, roll so I will continue doing half uh, double crochets in each chain stitch and I will do this is the chain the only chain is the first row the half double st uh, double crochet in the next row and I will do like couple more rows like at least four more rows to make the bow